Okay, tonight we're going to be looking at circulatory system um, of the human body. Um, should be kind of cool. We're going to look at uh, different organs in, uh, involved and how they work together, how you're um, taking oxygen in your lungs and how that oxygen is able to um, go through your bloodstream and get to the cells uh, where it needs to, uh, needs to be for you to carry on functions of life. So functions um, carries water, nutrients, waste, and oxygen throughout the body. It also helps transport white blood cells. Um, so those all important parts of uh, the circulatory system. <clears throat> your blood's mostly made up of um, the, your blood plasma. Um, is this water and nutrients? And that's about 60 to 65 percent of your blood. Um, we got a little image here. Here's your white blood cells, red blood cells, and then plasma, and then your platelets in between. So red blood cells, what do they do? Um, red blood cells carry oxygen um, using hemoglobin. So that's the thing that kind of attaches onto oxygen molecules and transports it through the body. Um, <clears throat> they live for about 120 days and you're able to make two to three million per second in your bone marrow. Um, and about one millimeter of blood has five million red blood cells. Uh, so super small and carry out one main function, which is to uh, bring oxygen throughout your body. And then you have white blood cells. Um, there's a, a electron microscope picture of one there in the corner. White blood cells are what fight disease. Um, and about a millimeter of blood has 5,000 to 10,000 white blood cells. Um, white blood cells are like the police officers or sheriff in your bloodstream. <clears throat> if a foreign protein gets in, such as a virus or a bacteria, white blood cells get signaled uh, that it's time to go into action. They hunt out that um, protein signal and they're going to swallow up that uh, whatever the foreign protein is and break it down or take it to be broken down. Um, and then the last thing you've got are platelets. Um, that's the last part of the, the bloods uh, that we talked about. Um, plate, platelets are what uh, is going to allow your blood to clot. So um, if you slice your finger um, or you get a cut in your skin, uh, platelets go to that area and they clump together um, and they help to form clots. Uh, in a millimeter of blood, you have about 400,000 platelets. So what are some of the major structures? Um, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest ones, you have your heart, um, and it's composed of atriums and ventricles. So um, there's four different chambers in your heart, and they're each going to uh, either be taking blood in or pumping blood out uh, in back through your body. <clears throat> and then veins carry your blood to your heart. So veins to and arteries are away from heart. So the way you can remember that is the word away starts with the letter A. It's the same letter as arteries. So arteries are away from the heart and veins are to the heart. So <clears throat> once your blood like uh, is, is flowing through your body, you can see some of the veins in your arm, but then you might wonder how does, if you look at your hand, you've got cells, skin cells everywhere on your hand um, or on your arm, how do you get from that main uh, vein, or I mean the main artery, to your all those cells? And the way that happens is through capillaries. So capillaries are really, really narrow. Um, sometimes red blood cells will have to like stack and line up um, and go single file through our, uh, the capillaries because they're so thin. Um, that network is going to be um, if arteries are like uh, the five freeway, your capillaries are going to be like the little tiny roads and driveways um, getting people back to their, their houses. Uh, that's the way the capillaries function. These little narrow passageways um, for red blood cells to travel and carry oxygen. Uh, then you've got your lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system is what's going to clear, um, uh, clear like toxins out of your body. Um, so uh, 
it pumps lymph uh, and networks to get it back into the body system and also has some white blood cells for fighting disease. Um, lymph is just a, kind of a liquid um, that's a clearish liquid that's pumping through your body, moving, um, uh, moving, removing toxins from your body. And that's the very last thing. So we had circulatory system into lymphatic system. And that's the end of what we're going to be covering for human body unit. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the, the very last of the sections.